All right, it's Resident Reason. I'm gonna teach y'all about functional groups and how to name organic compounds that got functional groups inside of them. Let's go. So the first step into being able to name organic compounds or functional groups inside of them is obviously understanding what is a functional group. So by definition, a functional group is an atom or group of atoms within a molecule that has similar chemical properties wherever it appears in various compounds. So to summarize it, functional groups are a group of atoms within a molecule that determines how it behaves. So you can think about them like this. Think about them like the accessories of a molecule. That base might be a carbon chain, but it's the group hanging off the side that determines how reactive or polar that molecule is. All right, so let's say this blazer is an alkane chain, right? It looks good on its own, but what will make it look even better is some Doc Martens. Can't go wrong with Doc Martens. Similar to the suit, this leather jacket look good as well, but it will look even better with some Doc Martens. All right, the point of the video wasn't to show that. If you were wearing an outfit, it would probably look better if you had the shoes on. The point was that Depending on the type of shoe you have, it can be your outfit an entirely different vibe. And that's the case when it comes to functional groups. To get a more in-depth understanding of this, let's go over the most commonly recognized functional groups. So first, we're gonna start off with the alkane. So an alkane is just a single carbon to carbon bond. And that's what we worked with the other day. The suffix, the name of the alkane, would just be A and E. And this is an example compound which we're about to do. So first, we're gonna use the same strategy. We're just gonna count the carbons one by one. That's one, two, three, four. I know our prefix for four is gonna be butes. So we're gonna write butes, and then we're gonna add the suffix on, and that's just gonna be a. So our answer, butane. Let's move on to the next one, alkene. And alkene is a double carbon bond. We haven't worked with these yet, so I'm about to explain how to do it. But the suffix for an alkene functional group is gonna be E and E. I don't know if you read that. All right, so the suffix for a double carbon carbon bond or an alkene is gonna be E-N-E, -E, which is N. So now let's move on to the example. Now, as we see, it's kind of similar to the first one, but this time we have a double bond after the second carbon. Now, you might write this exactly like this, but just replace the A-N-E with E-N-E, -E, but there's also another way to write it. So first, let's write the first way, which is obviously butene, but you can, if you wanna indicate where exactly the double bond is, you could write it like this, but dash, and you're gonna find the carbon that the double bond comes off of, which is one, two, two, dash, and then you're gonna put in, to signify that a double bond happens between the second and third carbon. All right, the next one up is called an alkyne. And basically an alkyne functional group is just a triple carbon.